Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this agent portal tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how agents are able to view inside of their client's one home account. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the agent portal that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own portal. Now for agents who are familiar with Matrix, you already know that you're able to access most of your client's one home activity from within the Matrix application. More specifically, by navigating to the client's contact section, you're able to see their listing notes, favorites, and discarded properties. In addition to this, you're also able to view their progress made in their planner tool, their property fit preferences, as well as display a collection of your sent emails and their custom searches in one home. And one of the advantages of accessing this information from Matrix is that agents are able to view each of their properties within the full agent display. In other words, agents are able to see all the private details associated with a property and not just the information shared publicly. But for this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how an agent can view what their customer sees in one home and we'll do this from the agent portal. Now there are a few different ways that an agent can access their portal. The first is from the matrix contact section, more specifically from the open and one home button associated with the customer's email. Next, agents are able to access their portal directly by typing agent.onehome.com into their browser. And it's from here that agents will use their login credentials to initially sign into their portal. All right, and finally, when an agent selects to be BCC'd on Matrix content, a notification is ultimately sent to their email address. And again, from here, agents can access their portal simply by clicking on the Properties button and then sign in if they're prompted. But in this case, since we're already signed in, you'll see that we now have viewing access into each of our clients' One Home accounts. And to do this, we're simply gonna select the Preview Account button associated with the specific contact that we'd like to explore. And it's from here that we're able to view the client's account, including searches sent from Matrix, searches created and saved by the client, their progress made within the planner tool, plus their collection of favorite, discarded, and agent-recommended properties. Now to recommend a specific property for their client, an agent simply needs to select the agent pick icon from wherever the property is displayed. And what their activated client will see is an agent recommended property back in their one home account. All right, well, this concludes this agent portal tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope you can join me for another session. Take care.